Hi, this is Sin from creativesynchronicity.com and lately I've been obsessing about my video entry for SoFabCon 2014. They're having a contest for the conference to win sponsorship and I've seen some entries that other people have done whether for this year or for last year's conference and there are people rapping and there are people singing songs and doing all kinds of amazingly creative things and boy have I been intimidated let me tell you that's why today is the deadline and I might put this off until today because I, I was going crazy trying to think of what I could do you know I, I can't rap you do not want to see this 50 plus something year old woman attempting to rap it would not be pretty and I really can't sing and I, I didn't know you know what what could I do what could I do to make myself stand out what what could I do to show how much it meant to me so I started thinking about gimmicks and you know I thought about I could wear my I could wear my hog hat right Woo, big suey, right I could like do the hog call I can sing you the fight song well no I can't sing but I could, I could play you the fight song, it, it is the ringtone on my phone, and show you how much I love anything that has to do with Arkansas, especially collective bias and the social fabric community. Or I thought about, you know, waving around a Canadian flag and talking about how much I love Canada, which I do, and how much I would love to represent Canada at the SoFab conference and and I would and I mean I even thought about resorting to bribery and offering Canadian chocolates you just ask Bailey just ask Bailey what she thinks of Canadian chocolate and she will tell you how amazing this stuff is but then I started realizing that really they were gimmicks that's all they were is gimmicks and I'm not really a gimmicky person um, some people will find this hard to believe but I am actually kind of shy and um, I, I, you know this kind of stuff gets me kind of uncomfortable so I finally decided to actually put into practice one of the lessons that I took away from SoFabCon 2013 and that was to be me so I decided just, I'm going to talk to you from my heart and I'm going to tell you what it would mean to me to come to SoFabCon 2014. And to do that, I'm going to let you know what social fabric means to me. Well, I'm going to try to let you know that, but I, I start getting kind of teary-eyed um, when I think about it. So we'll see how that goes. And I'm going to let you know about what I felt about SoFabCon 2013 and, and what I got from it. So let me start by saying that for me, the conference last year was my opportunity to get there and be immersed in the social fabric community in person. And a lot of the lessons that I took away from the conference, I take away from social fabric every week. Every week I take these things away from my involvement in SoFab, but I, I, the conference just, you know, like, it's the difference between being able to connect with somebody online and then being able to actually walk up to that person right there in real life and put your arms around them and give them a hug. It's that kind of difference, you know, it just brought it right up to the next level. So I'm going to start with what I call my cheerleaders. I, that's what I felt from the moment I walked through the door at SoFabCon 2013. I felt like I was surrounded by sin cheerleaders. There were people there who were saying, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to meet you. I love your blog. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to meet you. You helped me so much with this campaign. Or you gave me some great advice about this. And I'm so appreciative. And I thought, wow, this, this is really 
nice. And you know, it's not just that I was receiving it. I was able to give that too. You know, like I was able to go up to somebody and see them face to face and tell them what they've meant to me, what their blog means to me, what their advice has meant to me, what their help has meant to me. And all of that encouragement and appreciation, I, I mean, it really did. It, it started right at the registration table, right at the registration table, and it did not stop for the whole conference. And then, I mean, you know, I'm actually wearing my SoFabCon t-shirt from last year, and it talks, it says, I love my SoFab family, and that was another great aspect of it. I felt like a part of a family. I felt welcome. I felt like I belonged. I, I've i been blogging for a number of years. First, I did it more on a personal level. Then I kind of brought it out into a bigger level, you know, a little more public and a little more out there. And still, in some ways, I felt kind of alone. I mean, I, I don't know about you, but when I sit down to do my blogging, I sit down and I'm generally in a room all by myself or, well, maybe with my dog. And I'm in a house all by myself. And I'm, it's just, you know, me and my dog and my computer. And even though you have connections with people online, you know, you still can feel like your world is kind of, kind of small. And being there in that place with all those people in person, I really felt like, oh my gosh, I, I have a place where I belong. I have a place where other people understand what I'm talking about and understand what I'm doing and they want to do it too. They, they, what's important to me are things that are important to them and we can all relate to each other and we love each other and we can support each other. And that's, you know, I created bonds and made friends there that I carried away from there. And that was absolutely amazing. But, you know, along with all of this kind of um, touchy feely emotional aspect of it, there was the learning and the growth. The sessions, I, I've got this notebook, okay? This notebook is filled with stuff that I learned at SoFabCon sessions. And let me tell you, there is not a week since that conference that has gone by that I do not open this notebook up again. And I refer back to it. I had practical things. I had knowledge that would help me improve and grow. And they were things that I was able to come back and immediately put into practice and, and then go back to and refer back to over and over again and remind myself, you know, those days when you think, why am I doing this? I knew why. I could, I could remind myself, this is why. When I think, I'm stuck, I don't know what to do next, I could pull this out. And it gave me, oh yeah, I haven't implemented that step yet. I've done these other ones, but I haven't done that one. Now I can do that. And that kind of amazing knowledge and ability to improve myself and my business, that is invaluable. And, and just to give you an idea, because I mean, you know, they say the proof is in the pudding. Well, for a blogger, the proof is in the stats. I wrote down my stats when I went down to SoFabCon. I wrote down what they were at that moment. And I compared them to what they were at the end of December. So that's, you know, maybe six months or so. Everything, all of my social media stats like Twitter and Pinterest and Facebook and all of that, as well as my unique views, my monthly uniques, all of that at least doubled in that time period. And I have to get a, a lot of that credit to SoFabCon. I really do. I mean, that that has got to be in itself a major reason to love SoFab because that has brought me to the next level and I'm going to continue moving up. And I know that SoFabCon 2014 will help me get, have another boost and help me continue on that journey. I, and, and just, you know, the other thing that's thrilled me to no end 
is that not only have I been able to do this for myself and for my own blog, but I've been um, the Canadian CL for almost a year now. It, it will be a year by the time so FabCon 2014 comes along. And I have met and become really close with a lot of the Canadian community members now. And I feel so good that I've not only been able to take what I learned at SoFabCon and use it for myself, but I use it, I mean, I, probably almost daily in helping those community members who come to me and who are looking for advice or looking for a suggestion or just need some help with something. Again, you know, that information has been incredible in allowing me to help them. And that's another reason why I want to come back to SoFabCon because I want to continue to grow as a community leader, as a campaign leader, to be able to bring that to the Canadian community members too. Um, so, you know, I, I walked away from SoFabCon 2013 motivated and inspired. And it was kind of in two different ways. It was, I felt good about myself. I felt appreciated. I felt good about my blog and what I had done so far. I felt validated. But then I also had a plan that I could implement to move forward and to take what I had already done and to take all those accolades and move them to the next to the next level and to really keep on improving. So there you have it. There's me from the heart, only a little bit teary eyed. I kind of held it together pretty well. And um, that's why I want to go to SoFabCon 2014.